Got a first conference win in the season last mm -hmm. weekend. I know maybe a bit of a stuff or a tough start to the conference play, but it's got to be nice to finally get that conference win. Yeah, I got the monkey off our back a little bit, and uh, hopefully it generates some positive momentum for us. And uh, we needed that one to build on it. So it's, it's a good start, hopefully. You know, it's interesting with your guys' the squad, not a lot of Big Sky fans may know this, but you got a couple key injuries that have really, you know, kind of hampered your depth specifically. I know coaches are always, you know, we need to play as well as we can with what we have, but how yeah. much do injuries to key players really affect a basketball team? Well, I, like kind of like you touched on, um, we don't give ourselves any excuses. You yeah. know, we're expected to do well no matter what, but uh, losing Gray, uh, Grace and, and Megan have hurt. You know, they're both starters and, Grace was our leading rebounder, second best player probably overall, and, and Megan was the Big Sky top reserve last year. She won that award with other people, and so uh, it really hurts your depth, and it, it really has pushed some of the new people up. You know, they're kind of expected to perform uh, right away, and it's tough for a new person, even if they're a junior college transfer mm -hmm. and they're experienced. Um, they have no idea what it's like at Division One. They don't have any idea how hard a Division One practice is. So yeah, yeah. It's it's a lot of adjustments going on. Yeah. As far as, you know, we look at the conference race, you guys have played, you know, several games in conference. What have you seen out of the league so far as you've traveled around and, and seen games this season? I've seen it. It's pretty competitive. Yeah. Um, you know, especially in the middle and the top. Um, you know, you see, uh, you know, Idaho's off to a great start and they look like one of the better teams and then they lose at home to mm -hmm. uh, Eastern. And then you've got Montana State looks really good and then they lose last night. And uh, Montana, who's always been one of the tougher teams in the conference, um, if you want to call it an upset, I, I think Travis has a really good team, but they have the big win. Um, North Dakota has a big win over Montana and Missoula, so uh, it's making, I think, for a really exciting year. You yeah. know, going into the conference tournament, you kind of feel like, depending on who's playing the best and who's on that week, you know, uh, can kind of determine who wins it all. You know, I know you guys have been a, one of the more successful programs and have been in the hunt to host it under the hot team host format. But this season where you, you know, got off to a bit of a slow start in conference but appear to be improving as the weeks go by, mm -hmm. it's got to be kind of nice to know that you're going to Reno no matter what and can then just kind of show up and see what happens when you get there. Absolutely. I mean, we, we know we still have that at the end, and that's, that's a huge positive. And uh, we're working really hard right now to see what kind of seed we can get. You know, that's... That's uh, something that's really important. That's like part of your motivation to keep playing hard right now, even knowing that you're still going to Reno. And this final question, you got a big game tomorrow in Ogden here mm -hmm. against Weber State. They've gotten off to a really hot start, appear to have kind of turned the program around from some of the struggles they had a few years ago. What have you seen out of the Wildcats, and what's it going to take to win tomorrow? Well, they, they play really hard, and... Um, I think they deserve the success they've gotten right now. You know, Beth Ann has done a good job of sticking with it, and she's had some people really support her. And um, I, I'm actually, you know, there, there are competition, but I'm actually very happy for her and her program um, for for the, the where they've come from, mm -hmm. and they they haven't given up, and they've kept things together, um, and they play really hard and. Their, their, their defense is tough to deal with. You know, they'll, they'll trap you and press you a little bit. And they make things happen, even though they may play some smaller lineups. Um, and I, I just have a tremendous amount of respect for her and Weber and what they've been doing.